Hello everyone, what is going on? Broken Mike here, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to this week's episode of BUW. And this is episode 154, part 4. So, if you guys have missed any of the action in the previous three parts, then do be sure to head on over and give them a watch. <clears throat> As you can see, we are kicking off our final part of the show with a, another Summer Bash rematch. And this one will be for the BUW World Championship. We've got the defending champion Jack Styles representing the Night Terrors. Defending against the former five-time champion Matt Moody representing the Experience. Who is going to get the win here? Let's find out. Now, if you guys do enjoy this one, then do make sure to leave a like for Mike, slap any comments below, and do be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things gaming and all things BUW. Making his way down to the ring first, the challenger, representing the experience, Matt Moody. And Matt Moody is invoking his rematch clause, wasn't going to wait around until BUW Revenge to cash in his rematch. Matt Moody, a former five-time BUW World Champion, which is a record. And looking to break his own record once again and win a sixth BUW World Championship. That is unheard of. Matt Moody could be slowly turning into our own version of Ric Flair. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. And his opponent, making his way down to the ring, representing the Night Terrors, the BUW World Champion, the Dark Dominator, Jack Styles. And Jack Styles is his first championship defense since successfully cashing in his contract at Summer Bash. Jack Styles in his third reign as the BUW World Champion. Of course, he suffered the setback on last week's episode, losing a non-title match to Lucas Hackett. So someone would say, Lucas should be next in line, whoever wins this match. The eyes of the JSW owner, Jack Styles. Be 
Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 227 pounds, Max. And introducing the champion from Leeds, England, weighing in at 312 pounds, he is the world champion, the Dominator, Jack. Jack trying to get inside the head of Matt Moody. <clears throat> These two had a great match at Summer Bash. And this is Chapter 2, you could say. The UW World title on the line. All the marbles where every male superstar wants to be in BUW to hold that very championship and here we go Matt Moody trying to get off to a quick start against the world champion and look at Moody <coughs> choking out the champion and Matt working on the arm and Matt Moody looking to bring the bring the uh, championship back to the experience camp after uh, Hunter of course who's currently the YouTube champion we saw him earlier in action against Baby Roche hooks the leg not even a one count and Hunter was successful in that match Matt Moody delivering a springboard moonsault Head into the top rope. The frog splash, the D'Lo Brown version of the frog splash, the low down as he called it back in the day. Drops the knee on Jack Styles' head and the champion just hasn't got going. And Jack looking to get back into the match. Nice arm drag. And shots here. And face first goes Matt Moody on the top turnbuckle. And now Jack is choking out the former champion. Referee trying to back off Styles. <clears throat> Lock up. Off the ropes. And it's hard to think that there is eight BUW World Championships between these two men. <clears throat> Matt Moody looking for the knee drop no one home this time the lock up and look at this suplex <clears throat> Jack into the cover not even a one count he, Jack knows he's got to do more than more than that to knock off Matt Moody And there goes Jack Styles to the outside. Matt Moody going to the outside. And Moody. Oh my goodness. Jack just bounced off the announce table. And Jack able to kick away Matt Moody. Side slam. Lock up. Well, maybe not. Jack Styles returning into the ring. Quick return to the ring. Matt Moody re enters. Left hand. Waist lock. To the back. There goes Moody again. A left hand. And Styles. The back suplex off the ring apron. And follows it up with a leg drop. Unbelievable. Oh no, Jack, don't do this. Oh no, he's biting him. The, the fans, or some of them at least, break his fingers. I think Jack Stoltz was trying to consume Matt Moody's fingers. But Matt Moody wearing gloves, so that's, that's smart thinking. 
I don't know how strong those, mater those material gloves are. Moody gets sent to the outside. The lock up. Moody returns to the ring. Jack Stoles slowly and methodically picking apart Matt Moody. Oh, he's got Moody. Choke slam. And that could be the end of that. And now Jack wasting a bit of time now. Making a pin. Will this be enough? And a near fall. And Jack Styles cannot believe it. Oh, the Brody Lee clothesline. Matt Moody ducks. And roll through the uh, calf crusher. But Jack Styles is frame. Too big. And Moody. Look it, no way, no way, the Moody Clash, that could spell it, Jack Styles kicks out at two, this is unbelievable, the fans crying fight forever, a twisted moonsault, the corkscrew moonsault, springboard lion salt, Matt Moody's on fire here. But can he extinguish that fire that Jack Styles has been on? Moody slowly picking apart the champion. Knee drop and he has busted open the Dominator. Kick to the back. The chop. Brain Buster. Will this be it? Matt Moody for the win. No! Paul Jack kicks out again at two. And Moody's questioning the official. Moody top rope. Oh, the right hand. Looking for that Barnick elbow. Dragon. Matt Moody away from the ropes into the pin. One count only. And a shot with the knee there. Face first goes Moody and Jack. Maybe showboating. Maybe should not be doing that. Oh, look out! Pele kick! Jack Styles ducks. Matt Moody fighting out. Lock up. Matt Moody taking a long time. And Jack Styles able to get out of trouble. Waist lock. Oh no, oh what's he doing? Trying to make Matt Moody's body go limp. And I think that could be it, you know. Jack Styles, the champion. Top rope. Elbow drop to the heart of Matt Moody. That could do it here. No, it's not over yet. Unbelievable match. Holy crap is right, the power bomb and the knee right to the jaw of Matt Moody. And there's the boots of terror. Follows up with the Brody Lee clothesline. It's over. And Jack Styles retains his world championship. Holy moly's what a world championship match. And Jack Styles, he has said he's got his eyes firmly set on Lucas Hackett after he upset him last week in a matchup. Will Lucas Hackett get a world title match? Will he get the next shot at Jack Styles at BUW Revenge in a couple of weeks? Here is your winner.
champion, the Dominator, Jack What's he? What's he doing, Jack? Get off him! Anyway, folks, here is your winner of the match. And still, the BUW World Champion, the Dark Dominator, representing the Night Terrors, Jack Styles. And Jack Styles, I'm not going to say anything about his methods there. That That is just bizarre behavior on on the behalf of our world champion. Is that a direct message to Lucas Hackett? We'll soon find out. What an incredible world championship match that was, folks. Now, it is time. Of course, as the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, would say on AEW Rampage. Well... Looks like there's been enough talk. It's time for the main... And this one is a little... Could be a little preview to the Women's World title match that we'll see at BUW Revenge. It will be... <coughs> Bubbly Zen representing the NWO. And she'll be accompanied to the ring by one of her teammates, Queen Bee. And of course, she'll be taking on the BUW Women's World Champion, Hannah, representing Best Frenemies. And of course, if you saw last week's episode, you, you'll know that the NWO's other teammate, Alley Cat, became the number one contender on last week's show by winning an eight woman battle royal. So, Hannah versus Alley Cat. That'll be an interesting matchup for the BUW Women's World Championship in a couple of weeks' time. And of course, Hannah would love to send a direct message towards Alley Cat with a win over Bubbly Zen. Making her way down to the ring first, being accompanied to the ring by her NWO teammate Queen B, representing the NWO, Bubbly Zen. But of course, the other member of the NWO not joining Bubbly Zen and Queen B at ringside this evening. And of course, we're talking about Alley Cat, as we just mentioned. Winning the eight woman battle royal last week to earn the next world title shot against Hannah. Kentucky, the women's world champion, Hannah. Making her way down to the ring next, representing best frenemies, the BUW women's world champion, Hannah. And Hannah, yes, still the BUW world champion after Summer Bash. Overcoming the odds against Melissa Diamond. The Melissa cashed in her contract on the world champion but was unsuccessful to wrestle the title from Hannah. Hannah has had a couple of successful title defenses already against Mini Demon and Melissa Diamond. And Ali Cat could be the next one on her list if she successfully wins at BUW Revenge, but we'll 
have to worry about that on the night, but we'll, we'll worry about this main event match right now. Bubbly Zen, Hannah, one on one. And of course, Queen Bee could come into play. Try to help Bubbly Zen get the victory. But we'll see what happens. Look at Bubbly Zen, the chokeslam backbreaker. Top rope. Hannah getting back to her vertical base. Takes flight, picture perfect missile, drop kick. And Bubbly Zen right now taking it. Northern like suplex from Hannah. Hannah to the top rope. Takes flight, looks for the Macho Man elbow drop. Bubbly Zen got out the way. The snap mirror follows up with a rolling neck snap. The knee stomp. And look at Bubbly go. She's absolutely up for this. And watch out for those kicks. Hannah knows what those kicks can be like. She's felt them before from Bubbly Zen. Look at this. Great feet work from Bubbly Zen. Trying to do her other teammate Ali Cat a favour. Bubbly Zen looking to pick up a quick win here. Just gets the one count and she cannot believe it. Oh, Hannah. Beautiful bulldog there. As Bubbly Zen by the waist. Release German suplex. Bubbly Zen now on the receiving end. Another stomp on the elbow. A knock down the right hand. Stomp on the knee. The chop. Oh, a, oh what a kick to the midsection. Stomps from Hannah. There's a counter from Bubbly Zen. Look at her go. Nice takedown. Double stomp. Bubbly Zen currently taking it to the women's champion. Rolling neck snap. Hannah able to kick Bubbly Zen off. Kick to the spine. Now heading towards the top rope. Takes fly elbow drop. And you can see Queen Bee at ringside cringing there. Oh, nice. Nice on her roll. Hooks both legs, shoulders down. And oh my goodness, that was close. What an upset that would be. Hannah barely escaping there. Delivering a Michinoku driver. And Hannah now taking her time. What's she, what's she looking for here? Oh yeah, she's looking for that, that submission hold that she has used previously to make her opponent submit. And Bubbly Zen not about to give in. Kick to the that midsection. There's the bubble buster. Hooks the leg. And a near fall. Bubbly Zen gets a two and she can't believe it. But Bubbly Zen could be moments away from securing one of the biggest wins of her career. Detonation kick. That should do it. Here's the leg. And Bubbly Zen has just defeated the Workman's World Champion. Holy gefilte fish. We did, did, did not see that one coming. So maybe point out, folks, if, if Ali Cat is unable to the, wrestle the women's title from Hannah, Bubbly Zen could be the next contender.
So nice we get to see that twice. The bubble buster attempt and the cover. They were just delaying the inevitable, that Here's detonation your kick. Here is your winner of the match, representing the NWO, Bubba Lee Zen. And what a victory for that young lady. And not a mention before, folks, should Alley Cat be unsuccessful in taking the world title from Hannah in a couple of weeks, Bubba Lee Zen could be next in line. Well, like I say, we'll have to wait and see what happens. But anyway, folks, that is going to do it for this week on BUW. Now, if you guys have enjoyed what you've seen this week, then do be sure to leave a like on all four parts. So leave, leave a comment or two as well. And do be sure to consider subscribing to my channel. So that is going to do it for me on this week's episode of BUW. Do be sure to tune in again next week, where it'll be the Go Home Show before BUW Revenge. So I hope I get to see you all for that one. So until then, do take care, have a great weekend, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you all again next week. Good night, everybody.